This is the Vazvarn Uzi Gel Blaster, fully automatic and hopper fed. And this is my review. Let's take a look at it. In the box, you'll find the blaster itself, the, a battery, a bottle holder, the hopper attachment, 40,000 gel rounds split between both orange and blue, two hoppers, three targets, one laser, a silencer, a USB charging cable, one pair of goggles, and a manual. The blaster comes in a blue, black, and white graffiti paint job. On the front of the blaster is the orange tip, which is where you can put on the suppressor attachment. On the back of the blaster, there's a fold-out stock, which just is either folded or unfolded. On the bottom of the blaster, there's a rail for the laser attachment, but the laser can't actually fit on the rail, at least for me. I don't know if it's different for you, for if you get it, but as far as I can tell, it doesn't even fit on the blaster. It does work really well, though. On the top, there's another rail for the hopper attachment, which then you can screw on the hopper, which will hold the 7-8mm gel rounds in which the, hop the blaster uses. On the bottom is the handle of the blaster and trigger, which is where you can connect the magazine, or the magazine slash battery. Now, here's how to put your blaster together. Setting up your blaster's, atta blaster's attachments is really easy. These are the parts that you need, and let's get started. First thing we're going to take a look at is the laser attachment because I can't actually put it on my plaster it doesn't actually fit on the allotted rail on the bottom for some reason well I know why it doesn't but honestly it, an oversight by Vazvarn which kind of sucks but not a huge part of the blaster doesn't affect it does work well but can't fit mainly because the top sides of the attachment like point would be need to uh, be sanded down to be able to fit on there so yeah normally you just slide it on the front and this notch right here would attach to the, the notches in there and that'd be that so other than that let's put on the silencer just by pushing it all the way on or rotating like that and do the same thing to take it off don't rotate the other way because then you'll screw this off and you don't want to screw that off so that's how you put on the silencer. Next, for the battery, you just want to make sure that the battery like attachment point is pointed out is out that way, slash lined up with the one inside, and then you just you just put it in and it'll click in place and you have your battery inside the blaster. For the hopper, you want to take your attachment, line the arrow up to the left with the barrel, and slide it on the point until it snaps into place. Then you can attach your hopper. I do this upside down so that none of the gel rounds fall out. And last thing is just the foldable stock. You just fold it down, fold it back up, and yeah. That's how you set up your blaster. Now on to setting up the ammo and firing. But before you set up your ammo, the first thing you're going to want to do is plug in your battery with any box and the cable. It'll flash until it's solid green. When it's solid green, that means it's fully charged and ready to go. I do this before I grow the ammo, so the battery is fully charged while the ammo is done. Because what you have to do is soak them for soak the gel rounds for four hours. The process I go about doing it is cutting over the bag, pouring some rounds into the hoppers that are included with the blaster, and then filling it up with water and letting them sit for those allotted four hours or more. Main, honestly just a day I usually do that and then once those have been done once they've been there for a day four hours however long as long as it's four hours I drain them with a small strainer that I have you can use your fingers honestly you can use anything you can use a huge spaghetti strainer from your kitchen anything that you even mesh anything that can separate the water from the gel rounds because you don't want the water getting into the gel blaster. And once you do that, you can load up your blaster and you're ready to fire. To set up the targets, all you want to do is uh, put the stickers on them. I try to keep them equidistant from the edges, but they're super easy. If one, if they don't want to stick, you can either use double-sided tape or clear tape to fix that. I didn't have any problems. And they're good little metal tar targets, which I will shoot in the firing demo. So, 
I am outside. It is really cold. It's pretty cold and it's literally snowing. So, but I got the blaster full of ammo. I'm gonna be shooting at the tree. And yeah, full auto, cause that's the only mode of fire. I have a silencer on just to see how it reacts. I don't think it should affect it too much because it has, it's so large and hollow. So anyways, let's unload this thing. Got the magazine, or got the uh, battery in. Let's fire it at the tree and let's, yeah, let's go. fires fast when just keeping on follow when holding down the trigger. So I'm going to take off the barrel and see if it has any effect on the accuracy because it was decently sprayed off there. So let's see if plain orange tip barrel works and if it works well. round. Oh. There we go. Now we are out of ammo. So now we're going to test out the uh, goggles and shoot the targets. It seems to be pretty a lot more accurate with just the plain barrel. So yeah. So let's test out a few rounds of the goggles. Just make sure they work and they will protect your eyes. Gotta make sure things are safe, so... Yep, not a single scratch. It'll definitely work in protecting your eyes against gel balls. So, wear these if you're playing with other people, or shooting, or really anything, honestly. So I got the little metal targets set up over there. The three little differences. Let's see how accurate this thing is. There I go. This thing seems to be pretty, pretty accurate. Plus, but I only shot from like maybe five, ten feet away. So let's head back inside and get my final thoughts. I am back in my basement, my warm, my warm basement for the blaster wall. To talk about the, um, what I think about this blaster. It comes in at a price of 40 bucks, which is a great value for what you get. I had lots of fun with it firing it, even though it was really cold outside. I mean, it's a great, it's great value. Holds a lot of rounds on the top. You get a crap ton of rounds. The silencer is basically useless as it's actually more inaccurate when you have it on. So I don't see the use. I mean, it looks cool. I guess if you were playing in a court in a close quarters place, you can have it on because accuracy isn't the most important. It's still it's still pretty accurate, but it's even more accurate when you don't have the silencer on. I don't really know how that works. Why it's more inaccurate? Why it's inaccurate when you put the barrel on because it's really hollow, but. I don't know, air and stuff. Comes in a dope paint job, looks sick. Has a fold out stock, that's always a cool little feature. You can actually use it to uh, put it on your shoulder and kind of look down. The sights don't work because, well, this is blocked by the, they're blocked by the hopper attachment, but they're there. So you can kind of, you can use it as a prop if you wanted, you can take this off. 
and I don't know for Halloween because you have the magazine which can be taken in taken in and out. I also that's also a feature I really like of this blaster. You can take the bat you take the battery out like you would take the magazine out, even though it's a battery. I think they could have made it an actual magazine fed blaster, but they chose to keep with the hopper instead. Either way, it's a dope blaster for a really good price. I don't think you go you can go wrong with getting this blaster. The laser sight, the laser attachment didn't actually um can't actually fit on the blaster, which does suck. I feel like that's something that should be able to fit because it mean they include it in the package. Either I got unlucky or something else, so I don't know, maybe maybe you'll get luckier than me. Either way, good price. So yeah. I hope this video has helped you make your first decision. I think it's a good blaster, so if you want to check it out, link is in the description below on Amazon. Thank you to Vazmar for sending me this blaster. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.